Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Lords of the Fallen with me, Bragaton. Let's go fight a potential boss. Impressive. Let's take a moment to heal up and catch our breath. Okay, we have more heals where that came from. Let's see if we see the dogs out there. I might hear them, I don't see them though. Oh, this is probably something that that guy dropped last time we defeated him. Or one of the dogs. And this whole time. <laughs> Ooh, charge attacks deal increased damage and increased poise. Well, in that case, I think we're ready to head towards the Mads of the Hollow Brothers. Right, 40 strength. Oh, 
Alright, so the pathway. Oh, it's the Iron Wayfarer. That's convenient. The rune of a deer is close. I can taste it. Like blood in my mouth. They all want me to give in to despair. But that's for the weak. The rune is mine. Always has been. And I'm going to take it back. Let the gods bestow their grace on anyone who tries to stop me. Like these fools. There's no salvation here. No redemption. Not for anyone. Let Moonstead and every meaningless life in it burn. There's no sub. Let Moonstead. Be conscious of that dark crossbow guy up here. Time for you to go. Right, come here, buddy. Oops. Alright, let's parry you. Set up a gun. We got this. Well, I don't want it to do it the one time. That was weird. <laughs> First javelin just shattered. Alright, there's a pure blade up here. And a crossbowman up there. Let's go change our tank while we're waiting. I like the silver armor. I don't like the gold tabard. I guess I can tolerate the green. forward is an umbral. Did I explore everything up here last time? I thought I did. No, I went that way. We did not go this way. Oh, 
Oh, that's a crossbowman. That's not one of the uh, pilgrims. <laughs> the guy, the one guy that welcomed Oblivion, I could <laughs> land my hit on him. Actually, this might be the way forward. Based off the map that we have, right? Yeah, there's the bell. We enter, but that was the first step. Oh, I see. So we loop back around. Alright, so let's go that way first. Basically have confirmation this is the way forward, so... I bet you there's a vestige right inside that place, too. Probably should have grabbed... Well, no, we just had one, right? So... That guy dropped loot. I have to run up there anyway. Son of a gun. Alright. I didn't see it, but it never been a problem. Let's hope we don't get attacked when crossing the bridge. That keeps getting a little more common. Okay, a way out of Umbral. And also a way into Umbral. Serpentine. He didn't care about that at all.
What's going on? Oh, I don't have enough. Crossbow guys up there being really annoying. Uh, surprise. <laughs> A few paths to follow. Okay, we have quite a bit to take in. We can go this way. Start by going down, or should I start by just staying on this floor? I assume we can't open this gate yet. We got one hit on him, but if we can hit him, that means he can probably hit us. So I'm gonna say it's not worth it. Suppose we can go this way next. We also have down we can go. I think this is worth it. Since we're in a little hub area with a bunch of branching paths. We're gonna go back and go down. This feels like it's probably the way forward. Which felt like that from the stairs anyway. So let's go this way. So I wonder if this is supposed to be the monastery from the first game. As far as I can tell, there hasn't been a reference to it yet. Where'd that guy come from? Oh. oh no hesitation. Oh, 
Alright, Lucent Sword Ring. And we're done here, so we can just head on back up. As far as I can tell, we're done here. Time out. Hey, we got the kitchen key. How convenient. is pretty obvious. Oh, there's one of those uh, bell-headed guys in there. You men, at the wickedness which can take root within the walls of our own house, if we falter in our vigilance, our rigorousness, for even the briefest moment. See how malevolence and greed and weakness can twist the souls of those who once swore a solemn oath 
and then turn them away from the light of our eternal lady, where they skulk and plot in shadow, waiting until they can enact their most foul betrayals. But above all else, heed what will be the fate of all traitors who submit to sin. Hard time to figure out who was talking. So it looks like the guy. This guy. But it sounds like it's coming from the Crimson Rector to my left. So fine, you can sweep your attacks if during mid swing you change targets. I've been doing it a fair bit. They're working out pretty well. But I try not to do it unless I know I'm about to finish off an enemy. Why am I locked onto that? giant bodies over this. It's a, it's a cool art direction. It's creepy, as it should be. But it just gives you that sense of... I don't want to say wonder. That's like, questions left unanswered. It's a good way to describe the feeling. I probably don't want to explore too long in the here, especially since it seems pretty dense with enemies already. At the same time, exploring an umbral make sure you don't miss a whole lot. Yeah, we're at times two. Let's head back and exit. You know what? No. Of course, I'm stuck. Fight that guy. Oh, my God. 
man, not one of these guys. Oh, you jerk. Oh. <laughs> well, I put up a good fight until that goblin showed up. So I think we can take him next time he spawns. I'm not going to fret too much about hiding from him going forward. Try pairing him. I haven't practiced pairing the uh, wraiths that much. He's just a red version of them, so far as I can tell. Just has a lot more health. Alright, I'm gonna call it here, and next time we will. I'm just gonna go grab my vigor. I might have enough to level up. I hear bashing crates. I uh, might be just a little short. Let's see. I could just check via the... Yeah. I was going to beat up this guy and level up one more time. Okay, what next? Maybe endurance up to 30 so I can use a better shield? I'd like to upgrade a shield and slot that mana regen rune in it. That'd be very ideal. I doubt the regen's enough to completely offset the R of tenacity, but even if it slows it down a bit. I never looked at the uh, Rogar oil flask. A skin wrap flask filled with volatile Rogar oil. It inflicts fire damage and ignite buildup and reduces fire resistance. There's uh, that other thing we picked up as well. Oh, I increase physical damage and increase physical defense. Oh, we didn't read these. Okay. So they relocks. Among some tribes of the Udiranger, there exists an impressive, if gruesome, legend of one werewolf so powerful that he cleaved a mighty Jadale in two with a single strike of his axe. An Ixon. No, we've read this one. Yeah. Uh, that other item we found. I don't know what it was. Oh, that's right, I didn't read these either. Alright, we have a few things to read. Queen Verena II's Ring. A ring once worn by Queen Verena II of Mornstead. Health regenerates over time. The sudden and unexpected death of Queen Verena II led to much widespread speculation, with some whispering of assassination, while others insisted it to be simply the result of a brief but severe sickness. That would help against the red guy. And just being an umbral in general. Uh, the Lucent Sword Ring. A ring of the Order of the Lucent Sword. Deal additional physical damage when your health is full or almost full. The Order of the Lucent Sword was once the most favored military order of the Church of Orion Radiance. But after a series of failed objectives led to a denunciation from the Church, the Order lost much of its manpower and influence. A Man's Kitchen Key. A key to the kitchen in the Mance of the Hollowed Brothers. For a long time, the Hollowed Sentinels have been quick to see sin all around them, only to remain blind to the corruption within them. Oh, we've read that. It's old news. Alright, where's this other thing that I picked up? It wasn't a weapon, was it?
Well, I don't see it. So what I'll probably do is go back and look at my recording. Find out what it was and read it next time. It was what we pulled from the thing in Umbral. I swore it looked like an Umbral item of some kind. I just can't remember what, the, what it was called. By the way, gonna call it here. Next time we will continue through the Mance of the Hollowed Brothers. And maybe take on the Red Reaper again. We'll see. Alright, for now, thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next one.